Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with a gaming discussion video for you today. I would like to pose the question, where have all of the immersive games gone? Now this question is actually coming from a recent discussion that I had with a close friend of mine. Uh, he's a lifelong friend who I've always played video games with. Pretty much every time there's a new uh, big, ex big game that we're both excited about, we are teaming up together and, and playing it together. We played Diablo 3 together, we played Starcraft 2 together, uh, we played Duels of the Planeswalkers together, Dota 2, everything. I mean, we, this goes back to when we were first playing console games and the original Starcraft and, and the original Halo, all these. So the point is that I, I've, I've spent most of my multiplayer gaming history with this close friend. And we were just recently talking about how it's been quite some time since we have both felt that we've been really immersed into a game. And, you know, there's plenty of games that we get into. We were really into StarCraft II for a couple of years, and we were constantly 2v2 laddering. And, you know, right now we're playing a ton of Dota 2. Prior to that, we were playing a ton of Smite. But playing a lot of a game and being immersed in a world are two separate things. And so this video is to talk about those things and also pose the question, is, is that an experience that other people are not having nowadays that you used to have in the past? And while I am going to reference WoW because that was the main talking point in our conversation, I don't want you to think that this is just a desire to re-experience WoW because I've tried playing WoW again and it wasn't the same. It's not wanting to go back to that game or wanting to uh, rekindle that game, but it's wanting to rekindle that experience. This world that's a mystery to you when you first walk into it, you really get immersed within it, and there's that huge social component as well. So I'm basically talking about, I guess, a, a multiplayer game that can really pull you in and enthrall you. And again, I've played other multiplayer games, I've played other MMOs uh, since WoW, and even Star Wars The Old Republic to an extent uh, did that for me, at least a portion of that game, the leveling experience was very immersive and interesting to me. It was the end game that sort of disenchanted me and I fell off with, but you know, it was still a great experience and something that I enjoyed and actually he enjoyed as well. So there are a couple of points that I think may be the potential result of why it's been some time since I've really been immersed in a game that I'd like to talk about here. The number one reason is maybe I play too many games. Uh, the other reason is possibly my age. And the third reason is maybe these deeply immersive multiplayer games that are a fresh experience but still have all those great elements. Maybe they haven't been made in a while. Maybe they're not going to be made again in the future. I don't necessarily believe that, but just a point to raise. So let's start off with the first one. Maybe I play too many games. You know, I've always played games, uh, <laughs> you know, since I was a young kid. Uh, I, I think my first real system was an Atari system. I do remember playing that. That was something that I sort of just inherited from my dad, and I eventually moved up to Nintendo and Super Nintendo, PlayStation console, uh, N64, Xbox, and then eventually I graduated to the PC gaming. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm probably actually going to pick up some console games in the next generation. But the point is, I've been gaming uh, for most of my life. It's been a major hobby uh, of mine. But sometimes I wonder, now that I'm in this position where I am gaming for a living, or rather covering games and as a necessity playing games uh, to make a living and as a job, I wonder if that's sort of disenchanted me to, to virtual worlds and really being enthralled with it. Uh, the other thing, my age, I sometimes wonder, you know, as you get older, you get more responsibilities, more of your time is divided amongst significant others, friends, family, you've got responsibilities, taking care of the house, uh, chores as younger people will know them as but these are things that you need to get done uh, as you become an adult and and you know just even paying your bills and taking time to take care of yourself as well eating <laughs> there's lots of things that take up your time uh, that as you get older pull away <laughs> what do you eat more when you get older no but um, as you get older that pull away from your your free and leisure time to play games so maybe it's my age and then the other thing i wonder sometimes is maybe these deeply immersive multiplayer games that are really have these proper elements that other games have in the past, but are a fresh experience at the same time, maybe they just aren't being made anymore. So let's talk about that for a moment. You know, every time a new MMO comes out, what's the immediate comparison that everyone always makes? 
It's the World of Warcraft. That's the largest subscription-based MMO. It's one of the more recent cultural phenomenons. You know, we've got plenty of games that lots of people know about, Call of Duty, Minecraft. But World of Warcraft is a game that sort of took the world by storm, and we, we're seeing tons of commercials on regular television and skits about it and TV and movies, and South Park did a thing. I mean, it's just, it's a game that sort of took the, it took the world by storm, like I said. And, um... Because of that, because it's such a well-known game among the general populace, let alone gamers, that's something that MMOs are immediately compared to. I think the unfortunate side effect of that as well is that a lot of MMOs, especially fantasy MMOs that are set in a world of, you know, wizards and warriors and, and demons and dragons and stuff like that, you, you get what I'm talking about, those style of games with that type of fantasy, they, they also, I feel like, really draw from what's successful and business-wise that makes sense but unfortunately for us the gamer it really becomes this sense of familiarity where we we feel like we've played that before you know star wars the old republic was an mmo a multiplayer game is the specific part of that that i want to focus on it that was a, a multiplayer experience that i really really enjoyed but there was still that sense of familiar to that that sense that i i, I feel like i played this before I, I i'm used to you know these this this hot bar setup and the way character attacking is done and just that your interaction with the environment it still felt familiar to me and again this isn't just a call for me hoping that i can relive world of warcraft because that's not what i'm looking for but what i would love and and what i want to know from you guys is i'd love for there to be another fresh experience that pulls me in that's super immersive that I can just go head first into and and just become lost in. Again, not to the dangerous extent. Don't wanna say that I'm addicted to a thing or that I'm spending more time than is healthy on a thing, but to really, really, you know, be a part of the part of that and have this great experience with other people as well because i think that's such a key aspect as immersive as elder scrolls games are for example or like fallout games as immersive as some other rpgs can be i think it's really the multiplayer component of mmos that sort of brings it home and and you, you know you can say you hate mmos what i just mean is that the, this this fantasy rpg world that you're enthralled with that you have other people that the social aspect is there as well if you want to call that an mmo or not it doesn't matter that's a big part of the experience i think and that's something that uh, me and my friend talked a lot about as well that being a major part of it and just the desire for that to happen again uh, so what i want to know from you guys is how do you feel about all of these talking points that i brought up and do you feel like those type of immersive games are being made nowadays have you been super immersed in a game before but you just haven't felt that recently you haven't felt that in recent years is it just my age is it that i've played too many games or is it that these deeply immersive multiplayer games are just no longer being made I would love to know what you guys think. I personally don't have the answer to these questions. Uh, unfortunately, part of me feels like maybe it just is my age and maybe I'll never have that experience with a game as well. But keeping my fingers crossed that I will someday because uh, it was just one of my favorite parts of this medium of entertainment. Uh, being, being that enthralled with something was just absolutely fantastic and I hope that one day I can revisit it to a healthy level again in the future. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me here for this gaming discussion, talking about immersion in games. I hope to continue doing these type of discussion videos with you guys just to get some conversation going because I think it's a good thing. If you guys like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.